From the ever-awake cityscape of New York to old age, mysterious lanes of Rome, have you ever paused and wondered, why is it that some countries have the traffic flow on the left side of the road, while others adhere to the right? It is a question that piques our curiosity, and the answer takes us on an incredible journey through time. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready to delve into the exciting story behind this intriguing global divide. Let's hit reverse and journey back to the age of the Romans. Believe it or not, evidence from archaeological findings suggested the Romans drove their carts and chariots on the left side of the road. The rationale behind this was most likely due to the fact that most people are right-handed. Which means the right hand was free to hold a weapon for potential combat situations or simply whip their slaves. With the passing of time, this custom of driving on the left side of the road pre-mated into the fabric of society and was subsequently adopted by many countries across Europe. Fast forward towards the Middle Ages, imagine a world without traffic rules, roads were chaotic, with people in carriages going in every direction. But then came along Napoleon, as a left-handed person, he preferred to travel on the right side of the road. Consequently, he enforced this preference into his armies, making them march on the right side. Countries that fell under Napoleon's conquering spree made the switch to the right, while those that managed to resist his influence staunchly stuck to driving on the left. The end result of these historical shifts is clearly visible in Europe today. We see a clear divide with countries adhering to one side or the other side based on their historical past. Our journey now takes us across the Atlantic to America. Believe it or not, early US traffic also started off on the keep left rule. This was largely due to the horse-mounted position rider system. However, the advent of large freight wagons, which required a team of horses and left no space for a dedicated driver's seat, made the keep right rule much more practical. This allowed the driver, who sat on the rear left horse, to have a better view on the road. As time wore on and automobiles became the preferred mode of transport, American manufacturers decided to place the driver's seat on the left side of the car, further entrenching the keep right rule into the American traffic system. If you are enjoying our journey so far, why not take a quick pit stop and hit that like button? It really helps steer our channel in the right direction. Don't forget to share the video with your fellow road trippers and subscribe if you haven't already. To continue exploring these intriguing stories with us, now let's put the pedal to the metal and get back on our historical highway. Now let's take a moment to examine the lasting impact of colonization. As European countries colonized various parts of the world, they exported their traffic norms to their colonies. This explains why countries like India and Australia, which were British colonies, drive on the left. While many Latin American countries, which were under the Spanish rule, drive on the right. Thus, the echoes of the past empires can be felt even today in the road norms of various countries. However, there have been some exceptions where countries have switched sides long after the colonial rule ended. For instance, in 1967, Sweden moved from drive left to drive right. This day, known as Dagen H, witnessed a careful orchestration of switching sides overnight. This change was mainly due to safety reasons, as neighboring countries were all driving on the right. Similar switches have happened in other parts of the world as well, like Iceland and Ghana. More recently, in 2009, Samoa switched from the right to the left, aiming for better alignment with its neighbors, Australia and New Zealand. Where many Samoans live and from where a lot of countries' vehicles are imported. So, what drives a country to choose right over left or vice versa? It seems to boil down to a combination of historical happenstance, cultural influences, colonial legacies and occasionally practical considerations. In the last century, even the Brits wanted to change the system to the right, but many patriots were against it and it never happened. Regardless of the side, the ultimate goal remains the same, facilitating safe and efficient travel. So whether you're in a country where they drive on the left or right, remember, follow the rules, respect the norms and more importantly, stay safe on the road. 
And that's a wrap on our journey through traffic history. I hope you enjoyed this ride as much as I did. It is fascinating how even the simplest aspects of our daily lives are shaped by a complex web of historical and cultural factors. Thank you for tuning in. Stay curious, stay safe, and always remember to drive on the correct side of the road. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for such more intriguing journeys into the stories that shape our world.